Assalamualaikum to all my students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Here I am to explain you a homework assignment of English P of class 3. Before starting our today's video, I just want to say one thing that after having a tough year 2020, let us welcome a year 2021 that will unfold some good and happy times for us. Let us not forget to thank Allah for keeping us safe during COVID pandemic. Warm wishes on new year to you all of you students. Now here I am to explain you a homework assignment of English P of class 3. Before starting your work, you must follow the writing rules. Students, before starting your work, you must follow all the rules. Mention the date on your page. Try to do neat work. Leave one finger gap after each word. Students, you must follow all these instructions before starting your work. Now, let's start our today's video. It's a month of January. It's a month of January. And in month of January, we are going to learn unit number 19, homophones. We are going to learn unit number 19, homophones. How do you spell the word homophones? H-O-M-O-P-H-O-N-E-S homophones h o m o p h o n e s homophones in month of january we have a unit number 19 its name is homophones h o m o p h o n e s homophones now move to the next slide we have a homophones what are homophones? Basically, those words that sound alike but have different meanings and different spellings. Words that sound alike but have different meanings and different spellings. Homophones basically wo alphas ko kehte hain jinki pronunciation to same hoti hai jinki sound ka Sounds जो होते हैं वो same होते हैं लेकिन उनके meaning और उनकी spellings जो होती हैं वो different होती हैं so that's why we call it homophones. Homophones वो अल्फाज हैं जिनकी pronunciation तो same होती है लेकिन spellings और meanings different होते हैं. As you can see in this slide that we have we have a homophones sun and sun. As you know that Sun and sun both sounds are like same but but we have a different meanings of both of them. Sun have a different meaning and sun also have a different meaning. Sun means S U N sun. Sun means Suraj. Sun or sun ki pronunciation to same hai, lekin in ki spelling or meaning different. Hai. S U N sun ka matlab hai suraj aur S O N sun ka matlab hai beta. Theek hai? We have a homophones. Homophones are those words that sounds alike but have different meanings and different spellings. Homophones are those words that sound alike but have different meanings and different spellings we have example related to homophones sun and sun s u n sun sun means suraj s o n sun sun means beta they both are called homophones now in this slide, we have also our homophones. Homophones are words that have the same sound but different spelling 
एंड मीनिंग होमोफोन्स वो ऐसे अल्फाजों को कहते हैं जिनकी प्रोनाउंसिएशन तो सेम होती है उनका साउंड्स भी सेम होता है लेकिन उनकी स्पेलिंग और मीनिंग दोनों डिफरेंट होते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल बेयर बेयर बी ए ए आर बेयर बी ए आर ई बेयर बी ए ए आर बेयर बी ए आर ई बेयर द सेकेंड इज सोर एस ओ आर ई सोर एस ए डब्ल्यू सो सोर सो आई 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 ई आई ई आई लुक आउट दी एग्जाम्पल रिलेटेड टू होमोफोन्स द फर्स्ट वन इज लुक आउट फॉर द बिग बेयर लुक आउट फॉर द बिग बेयर बेयर मीन्स भालू और इसी के नीचे बिल्कुल एक और होमोफोन्स का सेंटेंसेस है द कबर्ड्स वर बेर द कबर्ड्स वर बेर बेयर मीन्स भालू और बेर मीन्स जिनमें काफ़ी जगह होती है कैपेसिटी ज़्यादा हो द सेकेंड वन इज आई हैव अ सोर थ्रोट आई हैव अ सोर थ्रोट द सेकेंड इज आई सो आई सो आर आई हैव अ सोर थ्रोट आई सो अ पेन गोइंग एट द जू होमोफोन्स आर वर्ड्स दैट हैव द सेम साउंड बट डिफरेंट स्पेलिंग एंड मीनिंग्स ऐसे अल्फाज जिनकी प्रोनाउंसिएशन तो सेम होती है पर मीनिंग और स्पेलिंग डिफरेंट होती है सो वी कॉल इट होमोफोन्स नाउ मूव टू द नेक्स्ट लाइट वी हैव अ एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ होमोफोन्स नाउ रीड इट अलॉन्ग विथ मी द फर्स्ट वन इज सी एज यू कैन सी दैट बोथ सी हैव द सेम प्रोनाउंसिएशन बट दे हैव अ डिफरेंट मीनिंग्स एज वेल एज द डिफरेंट स्पेलिंग्स द फर्स्ट वन इज सी द फर्स्ट वन इज सी एस डबल ई सी ऑन द अदर हैंड वी हैव ऑल्सो अ सी एस ई ए सी सी मीन्स देखना और एक सी का मतलब है समंदर द सेकेंड वन इज एयर ए आई आर एयर एच ई आई आर एयर एयर मीन्स हवा और एयर मीन्स वारिस द थर्ड वन इज बाय बी यू वाई बाय B Y E buy. Buy means खरीदना B Y E buy मतलब अलविदा कहना The fourth one is sell. C E double L sell. Sell means jail. S E double L sell means बेचना The fifth one is M A I L mail. On the other hand, we have a M A L E mail. They both have a different meanings and a different spellings. The next one is hair. H E A R hair. H E R E hair. H E A R hair H E R E hair. The next is floor F L O U R floor F L O U R floor F L O W E R flower. 
F L O U R floor F L O W E R floor the next is peace P E A C E peace P I E C E peace P E A C E peace P I E C E peace the next is b b e b b double e b b e b b double e b the next is for f o r for f o u r for f o r for f o u r for the next is lie L I E lie, L Y E lie, L I E lie, L Y E lie. The next is T A L E tail, T A L E tail, T A I L tail. Students, as you can see in this slide. they all are called homophones which have a same pronunciation but have a different meanings and a different spellings so we call it homophones now we have a exercise related to homophones the question is choose the correct words from those given and fill in the blanks The first one is Zara could not answer ever one question. One A is Zara could not answer ever one question. Full stop. B is Sanam answered all the questions and won a prize. Sanam answered. all the questions and won a prize in number 1 1 and 1 both are same pronunciation but they both have a different meaning and spellings the second one is you are not allowed you are not allowed to swim in the sea at night you are not allowed to swim in the sea at night b is read the poem aloud so that all of us can enjoy it read the poem aloud read the poem aloud so that all of us can enjoy it in number 2 allowed and allowed are same but they both have a different meanings and pronunciation the third one is do you know why the sky looks blue do you know why the sky looks blue b is the referee blew his whistle and the match was over the referee blew his whistle and the match was over the answer is blue and blue blue and blue the next is the fourth one is mother went to the market to buy some vegetables mother went to the market to buy some vegetables the next is treasure island was written by treasure island was written by treasure island was written by r l stevenson mother went to the market to buy some vegetables b s 
Treasure Island was written by R. L. Stevenson. By and by, both have the same pronunciation but have a different meanings and a different spellings. Students, before starting your work in your copy, don't forget to make a title page of month of January. Then you have to make a title page of a homophones. Then you have to start this work in your English P copy. The work should be done by very carefully, very neat and clean handwriting. Then you have to start the next work is singular plural. Singular plural. Singular means one and plural means more than one. Singular means one and plural means more than one. The first one is house. H O U S E house. The first one is house. H O U S E house. And its plural is houses. H O U S E S houses. H O U S E S houses. The second is orange o r a n g e orange o r a n g e s oranges o r a n g e s oranges the third one is disease d i s e a s e disease and the answer is diseases d i s e a s e s diseases the fourth one is drink d r i n k drink and the answer is drinks d r i n k s drinks the fifth one is candle c a n d l e candle and the answer is candles c a n d l e s candles students before starting your work in your copy make sure that you have to make a title page of month of january in a very neat and clean handwriting then you have to make a title page of unit homophones then you have to start your work First of all, you have to do this explain the blanks related to homophones in your English P copy. Then you have to do this singular plural in English B copy. The first one is house, houses. Second one is orange, oranges. Third one is disease diseases the fourth one is drink drinks the fifth one is candle candles singular means one and plural means more than one singular means one and plural means more than one singular means one and plural means more than one Singular means one and plural means more than one. Students, I have given you just five singular plural. So, you have to write it very carefully in your copy. The first one is house, houses, orange, oranges. The first one is house, houses. The second one is orange, oranges. The third word is disease, diseases. The fourth one is drink, drinks. The fifth one is candle, candles. 
स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू राइट इट इन योर इंग्लिश पी कॉपी थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इफ़ यू हैव एनी डिफिकल्टी और एनी प्रॉब्लम इन दिस वीडियो सो यू कैन आस्क मी ऑन व्हाट्सएप थैंक यू एंड अल्लाह हाफिज़